Like the majority of the systems on the A320 family, the air conditioning system is fully automatic. We will begin our study of the system by first looking at the air conditioning packs. The A320 family is equipped with two air conditioning packs located in the wing root area forward of the landing gear bay. Hot bleed air enters the pack via a pack flow control valve. The purpose of this valve is to adjust the flow rate through the pack and to achieve the shut-off function. The air then passes through several stages within the pack that progressively cool the air to provide a conditioned air output. Two of the stages are heat exchangers that use a flow of ram air to cool the hot bleed air. This flow of air enters via a pack inlet door and exits via an outlet duct. So that the output temperature of the pack can be adjusted, a bypass valve is fitted to allow warmer air to be mixed with the cold air. On the A319, A320, A321, the pack flow control valve and the bypass valve are regulated by a pack controller to vary the flow rate and temperature output. On the A318, the pack flow control valve and the bypass valve are regulated by the air conditioning system controller, ACSC, to vary the flow rate and temperature output. The pack controller, A319, A320, A321, or the ACSC, A318, also controls the inlet door to vary the amount of air passing over the heat exchangers. Note, to avoid ingestion of foreign objects, the inlet door closes temporarily during takeoff and landing. To make things simpler, let's define the area within the yellow box as a pack. The two air conditioning packs operate automatically and independently to provide cool, conditioned air. The conditioned air from the packs is then fed to a mixer unit. The mixer unit may also receive conditioned air from a low-pressure ground connection or, in flight, fresh outside air from the emergency ram air flap. In flight, in case of failure of both packs, emergency ventilation is provided via an emergency ram air flap controlled by the crew. Various pack parameters are monitored by ECAM. They are pack flow, compressor outlet temperature, bypass valve position, pack outlet temperature. Having discussed the air conditioning packs, we will now look at how temperature and flow regulation is achieved throughout the aircraft. The three outputs from the mixing unit feed three separate aircraft zones, 
cockpit, forward cabin and aft cabin. Let's look at how the temperature of the zones is managed. A zone controller monitors the temperatures of the three zones and sends signals to the pack controllers to set the air temperature delivered by the packs. ACSC-1 monitors the temperatures of the flight deck zone and controls the air temperature delivered by pack 1. ACSC-2 monitors the temperatures of the forward and aft cabins and controls the air temperature delivered by pack 2. Normally, cold air is delivered by the packs and is then sent to the three zones via the mixer unit. Since the different areas of the aircraft may require different amounts of cooling or heating, hot bleed air can be added via trim air valves to achieve the demanded temperature for a zone. In the example shown, no hot air is being added to the cockpit zone, some hot air is being added to the forward cabin zone, a lot of hot air is being added to the aft cabin zone. The trim air valves are supplied via a hot air valve Trim Air Pressure Relief Valve, TAPRV, for the A318. The purpose of this valve is to regulate the pressure of the hot air supplied to the trim air system and to act as a shut-off valve. The hot bleed air is supplied to the hot air valve TAPRV for the A318 from just downstream of the pack flow valves. The trim air valves and the hot air valve are controlled by the zone controller. In the case of any duct overheat, the hot air valve and the trim air valves will automatically close to isolate the system. The system can be reset when the overheat disappears. The flight deck trim air valve is controlled by ACSC-1. The forward and aft cabin trim air valves and TAPRV are controlled by ACSC-2. In the case of any duct overheat, the TAPRV and the trim air valves will automatically close to isolate the system. The system can be reset when the overheat disappears. Zone duct temperature, which is the temperature of the air entering a zone and the actual zone temperature, are monitored by the zone control computer, ACSCs for the A318. Two cabin fans are fitted to reduce the bleed air requirement and therefore save fuel. These fans establish a recirculation flow of air from the cabin zones to the mixer unit. In normal operation, there are no ECAM indications associated with the cabin fans. The ECAM air conditioning page contains zone duct temperature, zone temperature, and trim air system indications. The ECAM cruise page 
also contains zone temperature indications. On the overhead panel, an air conditioning panel allows the pilot to control the air conditioning system. Let's look at the controls on this panel in a little more detail. On the overhead panel, there is a ventilation panel with a cabin fans push button switch. The shaded part of the panel corresponds to the avionics ventilation controls. The pack flow switches control their associated pack flow control valves. In the example shown, pack 1 is selected off and is indicating closed, while pack 2 is selected on and is indicating open. The pack flow selector is used to select the desired pack flow. Low 80% of normal flow, normal, 100% of normal flow, high, 120% of normal flow. For the A321 version, a push-button switch enables two selections. Econ flow pressed in, 80% to 100% of normal flow, Econ flow released out, 100% to 120% of normal flow. For the A318 version, a push-button switch enables two selections. High flow pressed in, 100% of normal flow. High flow released out, 120% of normal flow. Note. Whatever the pack flow selector position, high flow is automatically controlled in case of single pack operation or APU bleed supply. The guarded RAM air switch controls the RAM air flap. In the example shown, the RAM air flap is indicating closed. Use of the RAM air switch is restricted to abnormal conditions that will be discussed later. The hot air switch is associated with the hot air valve, TAPRV for the A318. There is a hot air valve indication on the ECAM COND page. In the example shown, the valve is indicating open. Now let's look at temperature control. The zone temperature selectors are used to adjust the required temperature for an associated zone. On the overhead panel, there is a cabin fan switch on the ventilation panel to control the cabin fans. The cabin fan switch can be used to switch the fans off in response to an ECAM procedure. The flow control valve is electrically controlled and pneumatically operated. The valve works in two modes. In electrical mode, the valve is automatically controlled by the pack controller, ACSC for the A318. In case of electrical power loss, the valve is pneumatically self-controlled. The bypass valve is electrically controlled and operated. The pack controller controls the valve for short-term regulation of the pack outlet temperature. The pack inlet door is electrically controlled and operated. 
The pack controller controls the door for long-term regulation of the pack outlet temperature. The zone controller manages the cockpit, forward and aft cabin zone temperatures. It sends a common temperature reference signal to both pack controllers for pack temperature regulation and flow optimization. In case of zone controller signal loss, each pack controller will regulate its pack outlet temperature at a fixed value. The zone controller manages the cockpit, forward and aft cabin zone temperatures. It sends a common temperature reference signal to both pack controllers for pack temperature regulation and flow optimization. In case of zone controller signal loss, each pack controller will regulate its pack outlet temperature at a fixed value. Two identical air conditioning system controllers, ACSC, monitor and control the system as follows. Zone temperature control, pack flow and temperature control, system and component monitoring, communication with other aircraft systems. These functions are divided between both ACSCs with ACSC-1 controlling flight deck and pack 1 and ACSC2 controlling the cabin forward aft and pack 2 when the ram air push button switch is pressed in the ram air flap is opened the aircraft must descend to less than 10000 feet and cabin differential pressure should be less than 1 psi. When these conditions are met, the outflow valve will half open. The zone controller is the interface between the pack controllers and the CFDIU for test purposes and fault reporting available on the MCDUs. The two ACSCs are connected to the CFDIU for test purposes and fault reporting available on the MCDUs.